and his name is Bart. It don't cost him nothing to feed him. <laughs> the Squeaks family in 1999 lost 1,400 head of sheep. They died of sulfates, and it was because of the outflow from the, from the coal mine, the runoff from those lands. When they died, not even the vultures and the ravens and the coyotes would eat those carcasses. My name is R.G. Hunt, nickname Squeak. Uh, I live here in Waterflow, New Mexico. And I'm Carla. We own and operate Hunt's Meat Company. It has been in operation since 1958, and Squeak's family has owned and operated it for that entire time. The homes were supported, as, as was the store and the slaughterhouse, through water from the Shumway Arroyo. It's natural spring water. All of that was fine, and it worked out very well until 1970s, when San Juan Generating Station was established directly behind this property. There we go. Is this close enough for you? <laughs> and when they burned it, the residue, which contains arsenic, boron, selenium, mercury. Sulfates. Yes, many sulfates. Very condensed, concentrated uh, parts of that are now mixed in with the fly ash, the, the ash from the coal, and it is taken back to the mine and put in to unlined pits, which pollutes the water because it's not lined and it's not legislated and it's not enforced. And they had full knowledge and they never did nothing. Okay, in 1982, in any way. he was diagnosed with heavy metal poisoning. The children were very sick. They were showing very, very serious signs of malnutrition and, and poor health. They had limp, lank, dry hair. They had skin with major conditions, illnesses. No matter how much they ate, they could not gain weight. They looked emaciated. Some of that has been attributed, perhaps, there is no def diagnosis, but it was because of water that was polluted. We were taught from the time we were children, everybody pretty much was taught, you make a mess, you acknowledge that you made the mess, you clean up the mess. And what we would like to see them do is clean up the mess. They can't give us back 35 years. They can't give us four healthy kids. But what we would like to see happen is that they enforce it and they put enough regulations and enforcement of those regulations to keep it from ever happening to another family anywhere in the United States. It's happening not just in Four Corners. It's not just happening in Waterflow, New Mexico. It's happening in 38 states. But they're allowing it to go on in the name of cheap energy, and it's not cheap. It's about acknowledging that coal byproducts have poison in them. Treat them like a poison. 